Now to our continuing coverage on a community in crisis. People worried about the water quality in East Palestine. One family is wondering if they'll ever be safe in their home again. First at four, Caitlin McCarthy with their story. I met this family about a month ago, shortly after the derailment, and since then they've had their well water tested, which is just outside the village. And while the results came back okay, they're still skeptical. This is 100 feet from our house, you know. And this is our Our, our grandkids play in it. I own on both sides of the stream, so the rocks are mine. So they're pollute, polluting my property, which is damaged. Marty and Abby Hostetter have lived on this property for most of their lives. It's just outside East Palestine. 40 years and uh, it's worth nothing. Working every day, every year. Since the derailment, they feel they've been left in the dark. Information isn't being shared or hidden from the people who live here. Like being ignored on, on this part, you know, which is... East Palestine gets the main thing of it, but the part that I don't like is it goes downstream. We saw the Ohio EPA cleaning and testing the stream near their home. Marty says it has improved, but he shows us the sheen of what appears to be there. chemicals still in the water. This is what we feed our animals and like getting into the stream, and I can take you down there right now and show you that it's still in there. All you do is move a rock, it comes right up. The Hostetters feel safe cleaning their dishes with their tap. But as for drinking water, they're sticking with bottled for now. And as far as being stuck here, we're not stuck here. We want to stay here. We've always been here. We love it here. They hope this disaster is cleaned up and those responsible for it are held accountable. They want their lives to get back to the way they were. Caitlin McCarthy, 19 News. And 19 News with continuing coverage. Everywhere at 5, we break down what happened during those hearings on Capitol 